This quick video will show you how to remove the thermal paste off of your heatsink and CPU. Whenever you break contact between the CPU and the heatsink, you need to reapply thermal paste but first you must remove the old coat. The thermal paste is used to help improve heat conductivity between the processor and the heatsink. When you buy a new processor or an aftermarket CPU cooler, the heatsink should have some thermal paste already applied to it, but every once in a while you will have to apply some thermal paste to the processor yourself for upgrade purposes or just for general maintenance. You need some isopropyl alcohol and some q-tips. Just dab the q-tips with the isopropyl alcohol and start wiping down your processor. Be careful to not get any of the thermal paste onto the motherboard though. When upgrading the CPU for the Alienware X51, make sure you buy a CPU that is LGA1155 compatible. After running over your CPU surface with an alcohol covered q-tip, run it over with a dry q-tip to wipe up any remaining thermal paste residue. The same process goes for the CPU heatsink. Just wipe it off with an alcohol covered q-tip and dry it up with a dry q-tip. Back to talking about Alienware X51 processors, I don't recommend buying an unlocked processor with a goal to overclock because you're very limited in your CPU cooling. I think the cooler that comes with this Alienware X51 is the only option you have. The cooler uses an LGA1155 socket, but I don't know if any aftermarket coolers can fit without any modifications. But that's pretty much it for this video, pretty self-explanatory. In terms of gaming performance though, upgrading your CPU isn't as important as upgrading your GPU as long as you're not getting bottlenecked by your CPU. Intel's Haswell chipset is coming in June of 2013, but that's going to have very minimal effect on gaming. It'll be interesting to see whether Alienware releases an updated version of the X51 that can use the Haswell and the later coming Broadwell chipset. I'm definitely excited for the NVIDIA 700 series, which I hear will be a Kepler refresh, and I hope that comes out before Battlefield 4. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment or message me, and I'll see you next video.